water distribution system. So water distribution system updated. So when the water is treated, it will be distributed to the public. Okay. So there are various system, there are various uh, piping systems, drainage system, and all those systems are involved in this to uh, deliver the water to the public. Okay. So after the water has treated, it will be safely it should be supplied to the consumers to their work to their place okay to the homes or office or industries whatever it is you have to distribute the water to the place okay so the function of carrying the water from the treatment plant to the individual home is called as the distribution system okay that will be uh, it will be part by the well planned distribution system only okay so this is a place so this is the water supply so from the water supply, it is goes to the treatment plant. We know that by using an intake structure, the water goes to the treatment plant. Okay. So there it will be treated like screening, sedimentation, filtration, disinfection. So these four treatments are main uh, major treatments. So apart from this, based on the quality of the water, it will be treated for removal of iron and manganese and removal of dechlorination, uh, that is uh, desalination, defluoridation. So these treatments are taken place and after the water is treated well, it is used to distribute to the consumers by a storage system. Okay. From the storage system, it is distributed by the distribution networks and it is placed to the consumers. Okay. So what are the components in the basic distribution system? So distribution system of Dina, what are the components should be? So first one, pipelines. So pipelines are the normal water being. So it will be of a heavy, uh, high diameter pipelines. So it will be in underground normally, in underground pipelines are they. So it is used to carry the water. Walls, walls are used to controlling the flow. So walls in general, normal pipe networks, the path of the or the walls are cooler, so uh, rotating walls are cool, angular walls are cool. So why the walls are provided is, it is used to regulate the flow. When it is a table, when it is a I just uh, switch off the wall. So, Throughout the pipe, I have to distribution pressure distribution. You know, water, water, water should be distributed in a particular area. That's why the walls there. And then hydrants providing connection with the water main for releasing water during fires. So hydrants are the provide for So when there is a fire, when there is a fire hazard means it will be used. Okay, hydrants used for the water. Force the water to be used. So that is hydrants and meters for measuring the discharges. So you are you are studying meters in your applied alcohol. Studying meters is for So what is the capacity of the water distributed? You have liters of water distributed for the measure for the pumps for lifting and forcing the water into the distribution system. Pumps for the water lift panni, force panni. If suppose the water is in the underground reservoir system, they don't have to up in what, what the use of the pumps? It, uh, it pumps the water and distributes to the consumers on that. Okay. So, mainly the store is where water tanks are there. So, from the water treatment plant to the pipes, it is stored in the water tanks and by gravity distributed to the public by using the walls. So, wall pipes are distributed. Okay. And then, service reservoir for storing water and feed into the distribution system when required. So reservoir is used to store the water. When it is needed, it is used to distribute. So these are the major components of distribution system. Pipes, walls, hydrants, meters, pumps and service reservoir. So what are the components of distribution system? We'll be asked in a two-mark question. We'll be asked also in six-mark to four-mark questions. Okay. Then what are the recommendations? So they can ask in two-mark question. What are the requirements of a good distribution system? Or six mark question. So six points will be there, okay? It should have the capability of supply the water with adequate pressure. Okay. So with adequate pressure, the water is distributed to the public first part. Second, the fire demand should be metered. Sufficient fire demand. Fire demand normal water storage can be by income. Okay. Purity of the water should be maintained. So after it is get out get from the water treatment plant, it should not be contaminated, it should not be have any impurities in that. It should maintain the purity of the water. 
it should be easy for operation and maintenance and cost should cost should be minimum for installation okay so what the thing is should not heavy ah irukkudadu high cost la vandha supply pandra mari irukkudadu normal ah operating cost vandha minimum ah irukkanum basic ah na vishayatha vandha will be satisfied it should be satisfied it should have resistance to leakage and should be complete water tight system so end edathiyum leak avakudadu so pipes construct pandranga appadina they have, have testing of leak 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 detection detection test irukku okay idellame irukum so why it is appadina if the water is sent from the reservoir between the reservoir and the public if the water is leaked anywhere means total output will be wasted okay so that it will be easily leaked from the distribution pipes okay adnala we should, we just need a water tight system okay so what is first we can discuss about the service reservoir or a distribution reservoir so it is a storage tank and to store the required quantity of water to provide storage for fighting and emergencies and to stabilize pressure in the distribution networks okay so what is the function of the service reservoir maintaining a constant pressure okay first one so during emergency heavy force demand la breakdowns of pumps like will be used up okay so early variation demand will be directs the treatment units and pumps at the uniform early variation already i discussed in the first unit itself in the early variation now so morning 6 to 8 5 to 8 but every go usage of what will be the peak hours after afternoon whether 4 o'clock or 3 30 o'clock to 7 or go every go again in peak hours so nadule vand it will be of the less normal and the normal line and the less are the water usage so and the peak cast light will be helpful okay so based on the early variation in demand it directs the treatment units and pumps at uniform rate la operate par okay so what are the types of distribution reservoirs appadina service reservoir elevated normally use for the service surface elevated elevated na water tanks so you can see the water tanks in any of the areas So, we have to use a water tank. So, let's say the water tank is the landmark. Okay, we have to use a water tank. So, we have to use a service reservoir. So, that is basically two types of reservoir. Service reservoir is the surface. The normal surface level it will be half the reservoir. Okay, it will be underground or on the ground. Okay, normal or a structure it will be on the, the water tank is on the ground. or below the ground underground water tank okay elevated appadina bodu elevated tanks paathirukinga in the water tanks so that is called the elevated structures okay so they are basically we have a four types of distribution system okay so or water distribute panna poringa how it is to be reached endha maari distribution networks create pannalam networks okay dead end system grid ion system ring system radial system so first what is dead end system so dead end system appadina it is otherwise called as tree tree in the end the bottom la irundhu or periya idu varum and then branches form that will be a dead end so dead end street nu solluvom la so what is name of a dead end one end matta operation pannu adha end matta namakku endha or connection irukad so branches of the trees eppadi irukum periya trees idu varum trunk varum adha end trunk trunk sa pogum but it will be ended in a non stop at particular place there is no connection circular or radial na epdi irukona one end ku rendu ku again starts end at the same point so that is a loop for the connection okay va so this is called as a dead end system or tree system so the only one main supply pipe for where the number of sub main pipe oscillates so ore one main pipe system da irukum okay va adilende we have a uh, branches of many sub mains okay so each sub mains divides into several branches called laterals so on the supply mains that they will be distributed by various lateral pipes okay so from the lateral service connection are given to the consumers so now if you are now able to understand what is a terrain system or periya mains is main pipe irukku from the main pipe there will be a sub main pipe from the sub main pipe there will be a lateral pipe from the lateral to the consumers so, okay so this is an older technique not properly planned road in the mari edathukku we can use it but it's not at all convenience to use in the current metropolitan space like so 
basic and middle ages can be used so there are so many advantages and disadvantages in each and every system okay it is important that you are testing in this unit okay what are the types of distribution system important that you are testing should be write these four uh, with diagrams and advantages and disadvantages what are the pros and cons okay so this is called the dead end system can you see the drawing so this is the main pipeline okay from the main pipeline we have various sub mains from the sub mains they we have a various laterals okay so these are the sub mains so these are the branches so it that that is there is no proper connection there is no proper circulation in this system so this is a drawing definitely this drawing should be in your paper okay so empty irukku paathukonga so this is called as a dead end so one one end is supply other than we don't have if suppose illa enna disadvantage na if the first sub main la edho or prachana appadina the people don't get water for that day okay so totally service will be stopped in that particular area so this is the major disadvantage in the system so what are the advantages means any problem in the pipe should be easily solved because and that's what the best thing is no circulation where in that off panna thevilla so easily solved and possible to calculate the discharges and pressure point because it not connected with so many links okay so easily solved pannikla so easily we can able to find the pressure and the discharge okay least number of cut off walls used in this step so cut off wall epdi irukum kammiya da irukum one rent use pannale be enna okay third shorter pipe lines are needed and laying of pipe is also very easy namak therinjichu direct ave so it will be very easy okay cheap and simple okay and can be easily explained to the workers but what are disadvantages are the damages occur in the one pipe completely stop the service in the particular area so one pipe la main pipe la prashna na overall distribution system block aayidum main pipe okay sub pipe sub pipe full la block aayidum and if suppose uh, for this uh, we have uh, seen the drawing okay so sub main for a one pipe la edho prashna appadina sub main connect panna branches and the total area will be affected okay so in, uh, we later we face see the summer system it will not like that in summer system but it will be complex to construct it okay so there are numerous dead ends in the system which prevent the circulation of water the stagnation of water leads to degradation in its quality so that is a stagnation that is the water stagnant in that uh, distribution system so various distributions various dead ends in that all proper circulation of water occur whole water after it enters the drain okay there is a blockage will be there okay it limited supply only could come to you when there is a fire fighting cannot be increased by diverting other supplies suppose or area la fire fighting it appadina suddenly we can't able to supply the water to that particular area on our own okay but the part later system pakapod it will be possible in the ideal or circular system or and it close panitta matha end but or water where the damage area is we can concentrate on that area but in the system we can't able to concentrate that will be a major disadvantage these are the advantages and disadvantages of dead end system next is grid iron system so grid iron system is the mains sub mains and the branches all are interconnect with each other so it will be all interconnected so or jet it or mesh for no la mesh eppadi irukku mesh ella ella lateral and longitudinal lines will be interconnected okay so branches mains sub mains everything is interconnected it is a well planned city or town so we can use a grid iron system and pipeline in such cases are easily followed so this is a diagram for a grid iron system so there is a main m defines the main so from the main there will be a various sub mains so from the sub mains there will be a laterals okay so these are the walls used so laterals are mark as l s for sub mains and m for main pipe so branches are laterals idu ellame epdi irukku ellame fullave interconnected a irukum and then this is a valve the valves are used to regulate the flow okay can you understand what i am telling so what are the advantages of this grid iron system is in case of repairs very small area will be stopped supplying 
So, if any repairing means, we can see that particular area will be stopped for the water and then it will be repaired up. Okay. Due to interconnection water remains in the continuous circulation, the chance of population should be stagnation is avoided. So, water will be circulated type area are from. So, that is the population pollution will be completely stop. Okay, sorry. During fire, more water can be diverted by closing and controlling the various cut-off walls. So, while the previous end is the advantage part of fire up, we can't able to access the water from other dead ends. But here, when there is a fire in particular area, so for north east level the fire in particular area, other areas to stop particular, we can supply the water to that particular area. Okay. So, what are the disadvantages? System requires more length of pipes and large number of cut-off walls. So, more length of pipe. Costly and construction is costly. Design difficult. Design is difficult. If we are designing a distribution network, the pressure, walls used, amount of quantity of water distributed in LMA calculation. Pipe is diameter. LMA calculation. So, it will be somewhat complexity in the design. Hence, it may require service of design expert and computers needed to design it. Next is a ring system. Ring is or circular atma. It is also called as a circular system. A circular ring, either rectangular or circular, of main pipe is formed around the area to be served. So, the radial system in there, it looks like a mesh. Circular system is the circular main pole. But if you see the drawing, you can able to understand. So, distribution areas divided into rectangular or circular blocks and the main water pipes are laid on the periphery of these blocks. So, previous gridiron system, the main pipes are in the chain. Previous gridiron system, where the main pipes will be? Center. So, here the main pipe will be at the periphery, the circumference. Okay. So, advantages are disadvantages are. So, this is the main pipe. Okay, so while drawing the system, we can able to draw it in a good way that we have to mention the main submains and the branches. Okay, laterals. Okay, branches are always called as a laterals. Okay, so here this is the main pipe. So the main pipes are in the periphery of the system. Either it may be a circular or a rectangular one. It may be a rectangle, it is a rectangular one. Either it may be a circular also. Okay, so these are the mains. So these are the submains. Just like that, okay. So, these are the main and the submain system. Okay. So, what is the advantages is? So, the total advantage will be in this system. Okay. Radial system is? So, when there is a radial roads emerging from different centers, radial are radial roads. So, from the center to the various parts, up to the radial roads are means, this system is followed. Okay. The pipeline can be laid in a radial method by placing the distribution reservoir at the center. So, center and distribution network will go from this radial lines. Radial lines are from center to the outwards. Lines are will be. Okay. In this system, water is taken from the water main and pumped into the distribution reservoir placed at the center. Okay. The water is then supplied to the radial distribution pipes. Okay. It ensures high pressure and effective water distribution. So, you see this drawing. This is called radial. So, can you see this is a, so while this system is used, it is called as a gridiron system. Okay. When I control from this, this is our center of the pipe. In the water is away. Water tanks used for It will be stored the water. From the storage, it is distributed to all the areas, like a, from center to all the areas. It is a combination of all the systems, actually. Okay, so these are the mains and these are the branches. From this it will be distributed. Okay, so these are the uh, last two systems are mostly used in most of the areas. Okay, we have like that type of system type and it's very water tank and the standard though. From the water tank, the water is distributed to the areas. Okay, so what are the methods of distributions are? Uh, by gravitational method, by pumping method and Combination of gravity and pumping. We are discussing the first unit later. Gravitation now, throughout the process, gravitation matter, but it is not commonly adopted in this type of terrains. 
okay so pumping system at me no irukada most of the places so we are based on the geography based on the geo details of the earth or the terrain it will be a combination of both gravity and the pumping <coughs> so pumping system gravity system we have a dual system okay so in this pumping system so what is gravitational the water from the high level the source is distributed to the consumer in the lower level by without that by one gravitational force not any pumping is required so this method is most economical since no pumping is involved at any stage okay normally it needs a lake or reservoir as a source of a supply so it will it will be adopted in food hills and the supply source it will be in the hill so when the hills is the hill the supply is there na it can be easy to the public at the lower level so the lake is situated at the hill and treatment plant is at the same level up there na the source it will be at the lower level it will be eaten easily distributed by the flow of gravity okay. so this is the main water main uh, service distribution reservoir so from this it will be distributed to the consumers okay so you know what is head loss static head normally it is distributed pumping system the water is directly pumped into the distributor main without storing so directly anyway store pannama distribution system ku pump panni amichirathu okay high lift pumps are used water pumped into the pipe with the help of the pumping station if there is a power phase that will be a complete stoppage of water okay and the fire break out uh, then it will be a disaster okay now direct a source la the pump panni amichirathu nadulu equipment is water la store panni vekkala so when there is no water storage means edho or pressure appadina thanni pogadu fire the fire break out agumbodhu thanni pogadu thakkudu so that will be the disadvantage of this pumping system alone so the only advantage is that due to fire can force large amount of water at high pressure okay. <coughs> so this is the dry raw water level resource pump house la direct a you are lifting the water and then you are sending to the so lift pan it it will be distributed to the public okay so combined gravity and pumping system na the treated water is pumped at the constant rate and stored in the elevated reservoir like the water tanks part no la so it is stored in the reservoir from it is through the gravity it is distributed to the public okay the entire water is first all pumped into the reservoir and it is distributed simultaneously so it is a combination of both pumping and gravity flow the excess water in the reservoir during low demand periods and gets supplied to the during the high demand periods okay so here this is a pump this is a water uh, storage from this it will be pumped and stored in the reservoir after that it is distributed to the public okay. so what are the advantages in case of fire we can easily get the water by the by using the storage reservoir and at an uh, Attendance and supervision required for operating the pump is from the coming much less. Okay, during the power failure, certain amount of water supplied from the storage is available. So power failure means gravity will not be possible. So we can't get power. Okay, the system will be cheap and efficient and is adopted.